What's up guys, this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the 15th tutorial of PIC 16F886. In this tutorial, we will use the on-chip UART module of PIC 16F886 and we will use the functions of UART library of MicroC compiler. UART is a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter and for this communication, we need three signals, RS, TX and ground. RS is the receiver pin of the device, TX is the transmission pin of the device and the ground will be the common pin for two devices. To connect two devices for UART communication, we have to connect the RX and TX pin in cross connection. The RX of first device will go to TX of second device and the RX of second device will go to the TX of first device and the ground of both the devices will be common. The UART communication is an asynchronous communication and, and the data will be transmitted in the form of frames. At the start of this frame, there is a start bit and will always be a zero. After that, we have the 8 bits of data. Then the parity bit is optional and at last stop bit is there. We will not use this parity bit. We will use 10 bit frame for UART communication. 8 bits of data, 1 start bit and 1 stop bit. The baud rate is the speed of communication in asynchronous mode. 9600 bits per second is the common baud rate and we will use this baud rate in this tutorial. In Proteus software, first place pick 16F886. Then we need a virtual instrument. Go to this virtual instruments mode and select the virtual terminal. This terminal will display the received data from the serial port. So connect the TX pin of the microcontroller to RX pin of the terminal and the RX pin of the microcontroller to TX pin of the terminal. On PIC microcontroller, the on-chip UART module is available and we can use these two pins RC6 and RC7 for serial communication. Double click on the virtual terminal and make sure the baud rate is set to 9600. For UART communication, in micro C compiler, first add the UART library from the library manager. Go to library manager and scroll down to the last and add this UART library. We will always use the UART initialize function at first because it will initialize the UART module with the desired baud rate. So first initialize the UART module at 9600 bits per second. We will first test the UART write functions. So we have two functions. One is the UART write and second one is the UART write text. So UART write function is to just write a single byte. And if you want to write a complete string, you will use UART write text. I use the UART1 underscore write function to write a single byte and to write a single byte we have to use the single quotes because the UART will print as key characters. So when you hit the play button, a virtual terminal screen will pop up and whatever the data the virtual terminal will receive from the UART TX pin, it will display on this screen. Now we will get a W on the screen of virtual terminal. We get a W on the screen of virtual terminal. To transmit a complete string, we have to use the function UART1 underscore write underscore text and you have to write your string in between the double quotes. You can see what is the output. First it displayed W and then the message which I print with the help of write text function. Both the functions are printing the value on the same line. Let's see how we can print the hello guys text on next line. To print this hello guys text on next line, just add a carriage return before this line. Now you can get the output of this string in next line. I make a little modification in the program. First I create the while one infinite loop. Then I write a string on the UART terminal and I provide a delay of 500 milliseconds. You can see because of the infinite loop, the string is printed after 500 milliseconds and it is printing continuously. To establish a serial communication between computer and microcontrollers, we have to first know about the TTL signals and RS232 signals. For a TTL signal, the voltage levels are from 0 to 5 volts. A high signal will be a 5 volt signal and a low signal will be a zero volt signal but for rs232 signal a high signal will be a minus 3 to minus 25 volt and a low signal will be positive 3 to positive 25 volt signal we have two options to convert the ttl logic level to rs232 level the first option is to use the max 232 
which will convert the TTL logic into RS232 and then you need a DB9 cable to connect the MAX232 output to the laptop or PC or the other option is to use a USB to UART bridge if you don't have a DB9 connection on your computer or on your laptop you can use this USB to UART bridge on the hardware I am also using this USB to UART bridge this is a CP210 module this module is also capable to deliver 5 volt or 3.3 volt so I am providing the power to my microcontroller board from this module I connect this USB to UART module to a USB port of my laptop open the device manager and if you install the drivers properly you will get this device in the device list so this CP210 module is a bridge between a microcontroller and the USB port of a laptop to receive or to send the data from laptop to the microcontroller we need a terminal software I am using advanced serial port terminal for this purpose this terminal will receive the data from UART or we can send the data to UART from this terminal in advanced serial port terminal go to file click on new session so the communication port is COM3 and the required baud rate is 9600 select this option open port at once click on open now the communication port 3 is open for data reception and transmission so write the hex file to the microcontroller and you can see we are getting the output of this string on the serial terminal let's see how we can receive the data from any device to UART module in UART library we have a function called UART data ready we will always use this function to test that if the data is received or not from this example you can see first we will test that if the data is ready or not if the data is ready then only we will use the UART read functions to read that data we will put the if condition under the while one because we will check the availability of data continuously I will first go with the UART read function for that I need a character variable to receive the character byte so in this way if the data is ready to read on the UART pin then we will use a UART1 read function to read a character byte and we will save that byte in a variable suppose we read the data by this function and then I use these three statements to give the feedback or acknowledgement of the received data now I write the hex file to microcontroller and with the help of this advanced serial port terminal you can type the data here suppose I type H then hit the enter button and you will get the response from microcontroller your received data is colon then space H whenever you type a single character it will be received by the microcontroller and microcontroller will give the feedback in this format you can change the format as per your requirement so guys this was about how you can use the UART library of micro C compiler and how you can connect a microcontroller with a USB to UART bridge to your laptop or a computer and you can establish a serial communication with a simple way thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel